Good morning, everyone. I promised you a video tutorial on how to make this whipped cream topper for your tumblers. And in the text part of this post are links for uh, the fake whipped cream and little trinkets, um, cute little donuts and let's see if I can get this open this way <laughs> this has all kind of cute little lollipops in it and gummy bears and just little candies and all sorts of little things little rainbows stars so that link is included in the text portion um, yes, you can still drink with a straw with this topper on. Get that up so you can see it. You can still drink with the straw that I have right here. I happen to like the plastic straws. I'm not crazy about the metal straws. Someone mentioned that uh, they leave a taste, and I totally agree. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna try and not make this too long. We're going to make our whipped cream. Um, what I was after when I started this was, I did not want to mess with a cake decorator squeeze thing. And um, I wanted something easy and simple and easy to get to. So I Googled what is the easiest way to make fake whipped cream, and it came up with a YouTube video. I wish I'd have taken note of the girl's name. She was very good. And this is the product that she uses, BOHS Foam Clay. And this is also a link to this is also included in the text portion of this video um, it's great it dries overnight eh, 24 hours well not even 24 really it was 12 so let's get started I mean it takes a little work that is my very first one that I made open that up and you just get a handful okay enough for what you think is whipped cream. Make sure you uh, seal your bag very well because it's air dry, so it will dry up on you. And then it's non-toxic, lightweight, stretchy, pliable, and no residue. So I just... made it into a circle. I don't think I have enough. And there's plenty in this bag to do several, okay? It's gooey, but it doesn't stick to your hands. I mean, really. that back up real well gives you directions on the back if you want to make it colored it's a color mixing chart uh, tells you all about if it starts to dry too much you can add water drops and knead it to bring it back to life but I didn't have that problem 
So, okay, I'm just going to knead it a little bit. And then I'm going to put it in a bowl. And I wanted to show you these. I bought these are, sorry, Chihuahua dog hair. Sticks to silicone like bubble gum. Um, I bought these silicone molds to make my own car coasters. Um, I forgot, I'll include that link as well. I'm gonna just roll it around in a ball. I'm working on a little silicone mat here from Amazon. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to kind of push it down like that, all right? It's about the same size as this one. One thing you need to do right up front is take your thumb right here and make a place for the straw. See what I'm saying? So you can get your straw down in there. And you gotta maintain that spot through the whole process. Then the easy part comes, the fun part where you get to play. So you just go along and you pinch all over it. And pull up a little bit, pinch and pull up. Oops. You don't want to pull too much. Pinch and pull gently. It's really, it feels kind of good. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'm being silly here. Pinch here. We'll pinch here. And you're gonna go around and do that to the whole piece. Okay, so we've still got our place right here. I'm going to flatten this just a little bit. There we go. So then you go back and you take them and you kind of curl them opposite directions. There's no rhyme or reason. You just... Curl them up a little bit. Don't curl them all the same direction. Just take your fingers and curl them around. You might see a place where you missed one, so just pinch and pull. And you just eventually make it look like whipped cream. Still got your hole for your straw. Might want to pinch and pull on the bottom just a little bit. Okay, we want it even. So we're going to place it down on a base. It 
as you work with it, it starts to look just like whipped cream out of a can. Then you choose what you're going to put on it. This one. I'm going to make a donut. Put some donuts on it. I can find my scissors. Oh, there they are. Pick out a couple donuts, maybe three, and you put them in, push them down in the, uh, oh, those are cute. Down into the foam, this sticks to Excuse me. It says on the back of the bag that uh, the clay sticks to paper, glass, metal. It's also paintable. I could see an uh, airbrush, but I don't have one of those. Well, my daughter does. Um, but I could see it, one airbrush look really cool. And that usually takes 24 hours to dry. So I think we'll stick a couple of suckers in here too. Um, one this way and that way. This way, there. And then you can, I gently, um, Let's grab a cherry, sorry. Mm, no, I don't think the cherry looks that good. Well, maybe we need one more little piece of candy right here. There. And you can very sparsely sprinkle some glitter on it like I did this one. It's very fine glitter and I didn't overload it. You know, these things are so cute. You have a tendency to make them gaudy and you don't want them too gaudy. You still want them tasteful. So, and then I took it and I was happy with it. I still have some of these and I set it right on my coaster topper, my lid topper. And can you hear it? It dried overnight and it is stuck to the lid topper. Now, if I see that that loosens a little bit, I will do some silicone. I attach the ba the batteries, the magnets right here. And then this is, I haven't got the magnets on this yet, but it sets right on here. And then when you go to, uh, you have your straw. See the straw? When you go to fill it or to clean it, you take this off. This is decorative. You know, I don't know that I'd wash or clean this. Um, but it, since it's not near the drink, it shouldn't get too dirty. And then you fill your jug. Put the lid back on. And set this on top. And you've got your topper. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please be sure to um, leave them below and I'll try to 
answer everyone's questions. You want to, you might want to do a little bit more when you get it sitting on your topper. So it covers your topper like that. It's something you have to work with, but it's the least of the problems. I mean, I just didn't want the cake decorating bag and all that crap. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks.